the team just showed up. I spit all over. What's up, fam? What up, man? How, How you doing? doing, bro? Good. How you doing? Good. Good. Oh, yeah. Mmm, you smell good. Oh, man. I didn't put any you smell good on. Fresh. How to do, the Phoenix? What's up? Mr. Carlos? Alright, dude, we're going to right, that man. place. Yes, can I help you? Hello? Yes, can I help you? Uh, yeah, we're just here for uh, Good Morning Colorado. Okay, uh, just for Carlos Lopez and Jeremy, no, uh, yeah, yeah, that. chairs and then Brooke Wagner will be over here as well interviewing okay. you guys. Awesome. So uh, you guys can hang out over here for a minute. Is that Greg? Yeah, that's Greg Dutra. He's a weather guy. Okay. How's it going, Greg? How are you guys? Good, Good. Are you? you? Do you have your little Do you have your little segue? Uh, no, I don't, sadly. Darn it. <laughs> yeah, sadly they didn't let me keep that. I'm Greg. Awesome. Nice what to meet you. Doing Jeremy. Today? Uh, we're talking about our bullying video that we made. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Cool, guys. All looking sharp. Nice yeah. Shoes. I like those. Oh, thanks, <laughs> That would've been fun. We're live in Durango with the action three states plan on taking aim at fixing the problem. It's Perseid, but funny story, I've been saying Perseid my whole life, and I think that everybody just thought I was such a space nerd that I knew what I was talking about, so nobody corrected me. I did. I say Perseid. <laughs> yeah, so, so there we go with that. You actually want to see the forecast for it. First of all, I've got a great picture that I found on Reddit yesterday, actually, and uh, I asked the guy for permission to use it. Thank you very much, Matt. Here it is. He actually took this up the meteor shower, and if you're looking to actually get out and watch it a little bit later on this evening. The conditions, they're pretty good for it. Hopefully we get breaks in the cloud deck after our storms today, but 70 will be the temp at 10, and you may have to wait a little while to actually see some of those clear skies. The moon is waning. That's a good thing. It's not very bright. It'll allow your eyes to adjust a little bit earlier. So what are we expecting today? Upper 80s, chance of showers and thunderstorms. A lesser chance as we head into the late week. We'll be talking about that. Watch, like, some people may walk by, but you can tell they're thinking about what to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then other people. 30 seconds. Um, just don't even, like, they're totally oblivious. The yeah. one girl on her phone, like, yeah. she doesn't even notice. Yeah. It's and then the guy on her phone, too. Jam Jamie in the white, Carlos in the purple. Do you want me to move, switch them seats? Are you guys good? Okay. So I'll just lead you through this. Okay. We're the first thing up here out of the break, and yeah. uh, we'll, we'll be watching the video that you can. Stand by. Here we come. 745 right now. What would you do if you saw someone being bullied? If you saw someone being bullied right in front of you, would you jump in and help or just walk away? Do something about it. Dude, why are you pushing me, bro? You gonna me, do bro? something about it then? What? Why are you pushing me, bro? An experiment. And two young local filmmakers headed to the 16th Street Mall to find out. Jeremy Nelson and Carlos Lopez are here to tell us about their video, which is fascinating. You guys actually staged this bullying to see what people would do. Thanks so much for coming on to tell us about your results. So, uh, Carlos, I'll start with you. Why did you decide to investigate this topic? Uh, well, it's kind of been something like, kind of like a hot topic that's everybody, that's been a problem all around the country. So we kind of wanted to decide and see how bad it was here. And so that's when me and Jeremy went downtown and we're like, let's see how many people just walked by or how many people actually helped, so. And Jeremy, were you surprised? Yeah, I was very surprised. Honestly, I thought more people were gonna stop to help, 
Really? Um, and, and when we're in action, you can't really see all the people that are just looking at you and not helping. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Is I'm sure there's there are some things we don't see yeah. in the edited video. So did the vast majority walk on by? What happened? Yeah, the vast majority did walk on by, and we actually went to go interview them, too, and ask them why they didn't stop to help. But uh, most of the people just kept walking and didn't want anything to do with us. So, so we're seeing some of this video right now. And this got really physical um so carlos would you say that you could see people look and then they're fixing their hair or maybe they're on their phone the people who did jump in what kinds of things did they say well uh starting off uh one of the earlier guys when i threw him on the ground he kind of intervened and like pulled me away from him and told me to stop and uh, he was a lot bigger than me so he kind of just like picked me up and moved me but uh, most of the other guys kind of just got in between us and pushed us away, uh, the guys that did intervene or the people that did intervene. So let me ask you guys, what would you do if you saw this? I would definitely intervene. How, how would you do this and how do you propose, because we had a long discussion about this in the newsroom. You know, you're on the 16th Street Mall. There are a lot of police officers around. Do you try to get one of them? Do you try to, I mean, like someone like like <laughs> me, do I try to get in there? I mean, it could be dangerous. What yeah. do you think people should do? Um, well, I think if it's like, if you can get in between it, I think it's a good idea to try to stop it. But if it's getting really physical and you can't, uh, I would suggest getting more people and maybe in between everybody just try to split them up or say something to stop it. Yeah. And Jeremy, do you think we can apply this to maybe school type bullying, even verbal bullying? Yeah, we can, we can definitely apply it to school. Um, and even like downtown, there wasn't too many police that were around. Um, so it was better to shoot the video because they wouldn't intervene too because they weren't there. So I think that's the same for schools too. There's not too many teachers and um, people to look up to to kind of help when you need it the most. What do you hope the impact of your video will be? I hope that we can just share it and uh, hopefully that people can intervene if they see something. And it doesn't even have to be about physical, but maybe just something on Facebook or, you know, anything social-wise, any kind of bullying, somebody can intervene. Well, you guys are awesome. You did a really interesting thing here, and thank you for, for getting in touch with us about it and coming on to tell people because all the awareness definitely helps and actually we have a poll going now what would you do so you can go to kdbr.com and you can answer that question we'll share the results at eight for you she's money prompter Corey is our uh, director, and Aaron is our technical director. So here we are, looking right now at the sky camp. Yeah. Still so this is our uh, control room. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. This is channel two right here. Uh, this is. This is daybreak channel two. I didn't even know, we know what's going on. Uh, How's it going? How's life? What are we doing here? Uh, they were on a good day talking about their uh, social experiment on bullying. Oh, excellent. A lot of them are interested in broadcasting, so I'm showing them around. Excellent. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Cool project, boys. Thank you. Oh, that's oh so sick. nuts. All right, we that's just awesome. got done with uh, we just got done with news. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't as bad as we thought it was. There's that one guy again. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty sweet. Nerve-wracking. Yeah. No, it got, it got easier as we rolled into yeah, it. Yeah, once you start it, it's a lot easier than people might think. Will is taking me to BD's Mongolian Grill for birthday lunch. Thanks, boss. Yo. Hi, how are you? Good. Yeah, just do it, please.
check out this uh, graffiti. Cool art on the walls downtown. Will knows all the cool spots to go. Yeah. Coming in clutch. Come here. Come here. 